This video is an overview of the Seating Dynamics Dynamic Footrest. All the components available to help you specify the most appropriate components for your client. We will get into majoring, adjusting, and technical issues in other videos. For the most up-to-date information on the chair manufacturers and models, go to www.seatingdynamics.com slash login and register to use our new online tool. This will simplify the communication of your needs to us and eliminate the need for phone calls and emails requesting the missing information. Let's discuss the dynamic footrest components. The first component is the adapter receiver. All receivers look similar to this. The adapter receiver is the interface between the wheelchair and it is wheelchair dependent. There are over 35 different wheelchair makes and models that we can accommodate. The relationship of footrest to, is not the same on all chairs. Some are above the seat rail, such as this for key focus. PDGs are the same or similar. And all power chairs that use our footrest are the same as well. This is for an iris and is basically the same as all Solera and, and Pro CGs. It's level with the seat rail. Any chair that looks like a Quickie 2, Quickie 2 style chair that has a vertical front tube that the footrest currently goes into will use a receiver like this. The difference between the chairs that are above the seat rail and the ones that are below the seat rail can make as much as three inches of difference to the seat rail the foot plate distance for the same footrest. This is an important consideration in configuring your order. The next one we're going to discuss is the hanger. The hanger inserts into the receiver and is available in six styles to accommodate any knee. The dynamic knee, we have a low pivot that goes straight. We have a low pivot that is windswept angle adjustable. We have a high pivot which only points straight ahead. The angle adjustable knee is infinitely adjustable in seven and a half degree increments. It's fixed. Once it's set it does not move. It's available straight or in a windswept version. Our next component is the housing assembly. Here we have a dynamic knee housing assembly and an angle adjustable housing assembly. A dynamic knee has 30 degrees of elevation. The angle adjustable, once it's inserted into a hanger, is locked in place when the bolts are tightened. It does not move. Adjustable in seven and a half degree increments and both have an inch and a half of dynamic telescoping travel. Next component we're gonna talk about is the lower extension with the foot plate mounting. The lower extension inserts into the housing assembly. There are six lower extension shafts in one inch increments. This is the shortest one, a minimum extension. This is the longest one, a plus six inch. A lot of difference there. We start with the minimum extension, when it's shoved in all the way, this represents zero to the foot plate. As we go up, we've got a plus four here. You can see the foot plate will be way down here, a lot lower. We can also do minus extensions that will bring the foot plate closer to the seat rail. This one is a minus obviously different from the plus. When it's inserted, the foot plate, instead of being down here, is now up here. 
So this is a zero to minus two inch, and we've got different ones of these that go all the way up to minus six, available in both dynamic planar dorsi and static planar dorsi. The static happens to have a plus one extension in it, so by changing the extensions, you can effectively have one inch increments all the way up and down with overlap between our shortest and our longest extension. Seat rail range of six inches to 20 inches and one inch increments with two and a half inches of adjustment is easy to do in either the dynamic planter dorsi or the static planter dorsi. All foot plates are adjustable by loosening the four clamp screws on the bottom. The last component we're going to talk about is our foot plates. They mount to the lower extension assembly and are held on with four six millimeter flathead screws. They're available in three sizes, all precision machine on a quarter inch aluminum plate with multiple drillings for adjustment. This is our little bitty one, four by six inch. Next one is five by eight. And you'll notice that it's reversible I don't like to make lefts and rights. And our largest one, 6 by 10. Also reversible, lots of holes for adjustment. And a surprise for you, something that I was reluctant to do many, many years ago, was a one-piece footboard, because I didn't think that with a dynamic footrest, it would work. Much to my surprise, we made one minor modification, and it does work. So you can mount a one-piece footboard onto the dynamic footrest, and it will still go up and down very smoothly. Uh, we have three sizes of these available uh, from 14 inches up to 19 inch chair width. Uh, 